Good morning, go-getters. It's time to wake up to living life on your own terms. Welcome to FU Money Mornings with me, Brent Attaway, where we talk business, marketing, sales, leadership, and pretty much anything that helps us create more FU Money and live in an amazing FU Money lifestyle. Let's dive in. Oh, I think you're going to like this one. This is all about the topic of being focused. It will make you or break you. Focus in a world of distraction. That is hard to do. How do you keep your eyes on the prize? So let's find out. Now, first up, before you talk about mm, methodologies to keep you focused, let's talk about recognizing your wins. This is actually what will keep you or snap you back to focus, your why, you, what you're looking to do that day or your week or your month or your 100 days, whatever it is. You want to say, what am I trying to win here? What is, I, what is it that's going to signify I'm happy and I, that brings me joy? So whether you're working on a weekly plan or smashing through that 100-day hustle, you've got to know what that looks like. So what's that one thing right now I'm asking you? If you achieved it, would make everything else secondary? What's that one thing? Identify it. Like if I achieved this, everything else wouldn't really matter. Like I wouldn't be worried about X, Y, Z or this person over here or this project over here. I would actually be very happy if I just got this thing done. And I don't mean money. Don't even put down if I had this much money. That's not fair in this case. I'm talking about the one thing that if you focused on, maybe it would generate the money you wanted, right? Okay, so now that you've identified it and written it down, keep it front and center. That's the key to focus at this point because now you have a target. You can't, there's no such thing as focus if you don't have a target. It's all going to be, uh, it's literally, literally is the right word antithesis, <laughs> I think it is, um, of focus is having too many things, right? You have one focus, one target, you have zero in on it. Now let's talk about how to stay zeroed in on it. The first thing I'm going to tell you is, with that wind in mind, it's time to guard it. You actually have to guard that focus. So that means literally just saying no. Distractions are going to come, and they'll come often, and they'll be dressed up and disguised as urgencies. They'll be from yourself, you calling it urgent, that feels urgent, or more often than not, it's somebody else with an email, a text message, a phone call, a voicemail, a voice message, a Slack message, a some DM, something that says, oh, uh, your bills are due. Hey, we needed this. Or, hey, this was late. Hey, we're still waiting on this. Or all of these distractions while you're trying to focus on the one thing that you know is going to give you a big win, and yet you're going to let those things distract you. Okay? So what's your goal here is to say no. Now, it doesn't mean say no forever. What you're going to do is really say a que or ask a question that's very powerful. I've learned to do this myself, with myself even, so I might be my own best distraction, right? So when something pops up like that seems urgent, I'll say this, can this wait until tomorrow or even next week? Can this wait until next week? Can I put this off? Now that might sound like you're delaying or procrastinating, right? No, not the, the, the key here is it would be procrastination if you didn't have a key focus if you didn't know what you're focused on. But because you're focused on a commitment right now, this is not a distraction or a procrastination for you to say, can this wait until tomorrow or even next week? This is you saying, get the F out of my life. Leave me alone. Do not distract me from what I know is important and is the most important, okay? So by doing this, you're gonna prioritize your main goal and ensure it gets the attention it deserves. Say no, or at minimum, can this wait? All right, now that you're doing that, you have your focus, you're saying no, you got to understand that you're going to be your own worst enemy at this point, because now you're focusing, and it's called the lull, the lull, L-U-L-L. -L. When you get hyper-focused, you might hit a patch of boredom. <laughs> It's like your brain's way of saying, hey, remember when we used to get distracted all that time? That was fun. No, no, no. Here's the deal. That boredom is actually a sign of progress. 
It means you're breaking the habit of distraction and building the muscle of focus. That's the key. So really, that's just a sign. If you feel bored, but you know, you looked back and you're like, nope, I'm still focused on the main priority, then stay there. It will become fun. It's just right now you are breaking the habit, okay? So once you pu push through that lull, something magical happens. You start to build the habit of focus. Distractions, whether external or self-imposed, become annoyances. You're in the zone and nothing's going to pull you out. And that, my friends, is where the magic happens. That is called the flow. That's where joy meets that cash flow. Not just your mind flow and working in the flow. That's where if you're focused on the right things, you're focusing on cash generating things in your business or your personal income and also anything else that brings you joy. And now you're in the flow. That's where the magic happens. So there you have it. That's the roadmap to laser focus and the success it brings. If you're ready to cut through the noise and zero in on your goals, hit the subscribe button. Join the FU Money community, and let's focus, thrive, and prosper together. Until next time, keep living life on your terms. And that's a wrap on another FU Money Morning. Look, if you're hungry for more, remember, you can join us in the free FU Money community, and let's make those dreams a reality. Just go to ilovefumoney.com to join the community now. Until next time, keep living life on your own terms.